Ooh. Okay. Now we are recording, I guess. Oof. You can totally enter the yard through the treehouse. I thought that was fun. But this is the real entrance. Oops. Let's put our weapons away. That might be nice. Ta-da! I, I thought it would be fun to blend the pond with the bridge and this little sauna thing. Whee! And it's a little difficult because you have to put the little garden patch in before you place the awning and you have to lighten up perfectly, but I like how it looks. Yay! And that's my yard. I really wanted to make this combination of a message book and globe work, so I had to place it on something that wasn't a table. So there we go. It's on top of a pile of books. I really like the tree slice tower, but I could never fit it in, well, implement it anywhere. But then I like how it goes with this little dealio here. Uh, not much to say there. I don't really like the Sylphic bookshelf, but I like what the fan brings to it, so that's how I feel about that. I saw someone else do the floating fish tank above the stairs in a small house, and I loved how that looked, so I copied it from someone. Got a little loft you can walk onto. Well, not quite a loft since it's just a floating rug. Wee! I don't know why I keep saying wee. I wanted a wardrobe that looked magical, so I put the lily lamps in there so they're sparkling where the carbuncles are. And here's the unending journey inside the carbuncle disc. And this is um, a bunch of Oasis bathtubs with the Matanga lamp and... Woof! The indoor garden! Woo. As well as um, that thing. <laughs> I like how the fish weave in and out of the royal partition here, it's fun to watch. And... Whee! 
I combined the Glade canopy bed and the Oasis canopy bed. I like how that turned out. I like floating the Glade couch. I'm sorry, not sorry. And that is... That's my, my little cottage. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm not used to uh, making videos, but uh, hopefully it wasn't too amateurish. Thank you!